Hey everyone, Boone here from Shutterstock. So today I'm going to talk to you about the J and the L edits. Now this is a super simple technique to learn, but it's extremely powerful. So this technique can totally change the look, the sound, and the feel of your next production. So let's have a look. So J and L cuts are named after how they look on a timeline. With an L cut, the audio of your first clip continues underneath the video of your second clip. For the J cut, it's simply vice versa. Now while these are most commonly found in dialogue scenes, you can also use them to position your B-roll, smooth out transitions, and fine tune the timing and pacing of your project. Now let's have a closer look at this technique. So for this particular example, let's say we're working on a documentary project and our producer just gave us three clips and said we need to cut together a little 10 second intro. And it has to be 10 seconds exactly because this is going out for broadcast. So it needs to be very, very specific. And he's given us these three shots here. You can get all these shots on Shutterstock, by the way. And if we look at him here, we have the satellite view of a hurricane. We have kind of some storm B-roll. And then again, another shot of some storm B-roll. So we wanted to use this shot first and then our second and third shots. Now if you look down here, you'll notice that only one has audio on it. So let's take a quick listen. So now I'm gonna show you how we can cut around this problem using J and L cuts. The first thing I wanna do here is create a quick rough cut. Now again, my producer said that he wants 10 seconds exactly. So I'm gonna go over here to the playhead position and type in 10 seconds. That'll take me straight there. And then I can add a quick marker. So now we can quickly see where our 10 second mark is because again, this is for broadcast, it needs to be exact. Now I'm gonna quickly trim down our three clips here. Okay, so now we have our rough sequence here. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so the producer is going to put this at the beginning of the final cut of the documentary and he really likes this natural sound and he wants to incorporate it in the beginning. So let's quickly fix this little sequence up using J and L cuts. First, I'm going to perform an L cut on this clip. Now when you're performing J and L edits, you're essentially editing the audio separate of the video. And to do that, you need to know a couple of shortcuts. Because when I click this clip here, you'll notice that the video and audio are linked. You can actually see in these symbols here that this means they're linked. So I can either unlink these or I can just use keyboard shortcuts to edit them individually. To unlink, I can go to clip and select unlink. And now you look, those symbols are gone now. And when I select these two, they're now separate. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. You see now they're reconnected. I'm gonna hold the Alt key. And if you notice when I hold the Alt key, it allows me to select these separately. If you wanna unlink everything and keep it unlinked, just select the linked selection button at the upper left-hand corner of the timeline panel. It's very important to keep this in mind, especially when you're working with dialogue scenes because you can quickly throw something out of sync. Now I'm gonna hold the Alt key and simply drag out my audio all the way under the second clip here. And now, if we have a listen, Now we're giving our viewers the illusion that that sound is actually happening at this location, which it is not, but it works perfectly and it keeps this cut nice and smooth. And you know, if you just watch these two clips with that sound, you wouldn't really be able to spot which shot had the natural sound. So it covers it up quite well. We can tell it's an L cut by selecting this clip here and we can see that it's shaped like an L. Now regarding our shot over here, our first shot, the producer has told me that he's gonna be putting some music and sound effects over the beginning and there's gonna be a little title graphic that comes up here, but we still wanna take care of this transition here. We don't want it to have such a jarring cut in. So to smooth that out, I'll perform a quick J cut. And again, I'm gonna hold the Alt key because these two are linked up. So I'm gonna hold Alt and kind of bring this in. So now that storm sound is gonna come in and it's gonna be a nice transition. We'll start to hear the storm before we actually see it. And I can kind of move this out a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to the end here, Command Shift D to add a quick little transition in. Now, in fact, that's a little too quick. So I'm gonna extend this out even more and then extend our transition. Perfect, and I want to actually adjust it a little more because we heard that clicking. So there you have it, using a J edit and an L edit, I've quickly put together this short sequence and the video and the audio flow together smoothly. So in addition to giving us seamless transitions for the audio and the video, this also gives us pretty tight control over the pacing and the timing. So let's say we wanted to extend this to 12 seconds. I could go over here to the 12 second mark Let's move our marker over here. 
and now I can simply drag this out again holding the alt key as long as I have enough to work with here I'm going to drag that out and now I have control over these two clips I can show exactly how much I want of each clip or I can even drag this out and then move this edit point one other important tool to know about is the rolling edit tool if you go down here select rolling edit now if I hold the alt key I can move this edit point simply by dragging it and there we go so now we have a 12 second sequence and I cut that together very quickly now you can imagine if you're working on a narrative piece you can use this technique on your dialogue scenes it's gonna allow you to control specifically where your reaction shots are when you make the cuts and you're gonna have tight control over the pacing and the timing so this technique really reinforces the simple and obvious fact that video and audio are separate assets and you should treat them as separate assets just because you have video and audio linked up together does not mean you should use them that way in the timeline. Making slight adjustments via J and L edits can drastically improve your production. Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.